Hi there, Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your April 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, we're looking at this month with the energies, what might be tuning up, uh, what's going to be unfolding for each one of us in terms of our personal life, emotional life, and relationships as a whole. So uh, these are really more of a predictive energy and you know, we are going to be picking up what's going on with you at the present moment, what would be your focus at this time, and how are things going to fare up for us what's going to be happening in the near future and the overall outcome of the month of April 2021 and with the remaining cards over here it does 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 gives us um some form of key themes that we might have missed out or some form underlying um issues that might be coming up as well for the month of April 2021 and sometimes this just gives us a more clarification and confirmation to what might be seen and on the spread that we have over here and then we also have my keeper cards over here at the bottom of the spread to give us um, some form of confirmation and other information that um, we might need to know what we might have missed out and key themes that um important to be mentioned for the month of april 2021 and over here we have uh, a twin flame love note I, as i would call it and it gives us more information and messages in terms of our love life and relationships and what might be something that your partner wants to tell you but they're not really actually telling you and expressing that and this could also have something to do with the energies that is unfolding in your um unconscious mind and um at the same time this can be happening either something within yourself or with your other person so um anyway without any further ado let's just go into the reading and see what's going on for a lot of librans for the month of april 2021 so we're starting off with the five of swords the temperance and the nine of pentacles now this is more of um it's not a very easy energy because it makes me feel as if that a lot of you guys are still stuck in the past or there could be issues in your life that you are still hung up on whenever we have the five of swords this is um it could be a person or a situation you know even though it gives the idea that you know things did not really happen in the way that they wanted things to occur they still do look back i mean we can clearly see that with the image over here you know this guy still keeps looking back on the things that um did not work out well it could be even a person who betrayed you or something like that or this could be a situation wherein you are just unable to to really move on and really move forward with things um there is an issue here wherein yes you are loving yourself you are focusing on what needs to be focused on like for a lot of libra people um you know it's not as if you are um it's not as if that you lack self-love um it's really more of a of an issue wherein you are not really able to move forward with your life or you're not really able to move forward in terms of your love life and relationships so it's not as if that you are lacking love or um lacking self-worth i feel that it has nothing to do with those um this is really more of an issue wherein you are you just have the desire to fix situations you know fix what has not worked out and i kind of feel a lot of libra tends to be like that they are not the type that usually um okay this not this 
did not work out okay move on next they are the type of people who who tends to be very patient and tries to work out a relationship even though things are not working out they want to negotiate they want to talk things out they want to repair relationships they have that form of energy and um from this reading we are seeing here that maybe you are at that point of your life we're in you are wanting to to fix repair or harmonize a certain love life or love situation uh, that you have this can also be uh, a certain period of time we're in um this could be you um starting to live life again you know doing your priorities in life and um starting afresh you know there's some form of restart here that you wanted to redo you know so again this could be a situation that can happen in two different ways wherein someone is willing to start over you know start uh, a clean slate in their life whether they're single or in a relationship uh, this is a person that wants to um, start living life again and you know, I, there's an energy of wanting to feel alive there's an energy that there's something i want to happen and i want to move forward again because the five of swords tends to be a very cluttered energy wherein you're not exactly moving forward you're not exactly moving backward it's like it's just an an, an utter chaos and a feeling of loss and you know it doesn't mean that you're actually going to repair your relationship but you are now at the point of your life or in you have awareness of the things that you want and what you don't want um, whether you are regretting something or whether you have learned your lessons what it is that you have learned um, realize and all of those kinds of things you are going to have some form of awareness of what you want and what you don't want what you have learned in this journey in this relationship or with your love life situation and relationships you are going to to accept all of those <laughs> whether it's a good experience or a bad experience now um what's coming up for you we do have here the four of wands the king of cups and the knight of cups this is a really wonderful energy that because this is more of a situation we're in maybe you are willing now to take action and you know follow your heart follow what your emotions are telling you this could also be a situation we're in um you are creating a link with a particular person in your life you know there could be a psychic link between you and a, a specific lover or a soulmate connection this can also be a situation wherein maybe someone is making their way towards you it could be from someone in the past or someone that you are about to meet in the future it could be someone new uh, this is more of a harmonious type of energy wherein we are going to feel a shift of energy that is really more positive and more harmonious um but uh i would say that whenever i see a lot of cups energy here we're not really seeing as if there is a material change that is happening but psychically there is a feel-good moment that we can expect um and th this is really a perfect um perfect and wonderful energy if you are in a situation wherein you have been so lost like you know you don't know what you want you don't know what to do and sometimes especially if you had a difficult situation in terms of your lover <laughs> with your love life you have been in a state of pessimism in the past and you know uh, i want this person but at the same time i don't want them so there's a lot of complications right there and this is more of a situation wherein I kind of feel that a lot of you guys are really more accepting and understanding with the process you know and it's really more about you being more open to life and being more open to the opportunities of how things are gonna go so um you're not really seeing here that you are going to make contact with anyone particular i mean yes you can but um as far as i can see here this is really more about you 
um, having some form of balance in terms of your psyche and your emotions and well-being this is about you being more ready being more open to things and you know uh, we are not really seeing that very harsh and heavy energy that you once had in in your life and in your emotional um situation so this is you being much more honest with yourself um as we end the um month of, the month of april we do have these seven of cups seven of cups over here the ten of pentacles and the five of cups now like i said earlier um we are having a lot of this um cups energy which makes me feel as if um s at some point um, there is some form of emotional shift that is really happening for you. I'm not seeing you being very excited excited about certain things. It's not really about that. But this is really just more of you being able to learn things and understand how your emotions are is working right now. Uh, I would say that this could happen in different ways. Again, this is a general reading, so I can't really say for sure what these cards are going to mean. But I can tell you how the reading is going to turn out in various situations. And that's basically what we're looking at uh, during this time. With the um, Seven of Cups, this is more of an element wherein you get overwhelmed with emotions, you know. And this is could, this could be a period you were in. You are so open to lies and being more positive in certain things. And when we when we talk about positivity and manifestation, many many times there will be a situation wherein we become more positive and then uh, suddenly there is a spike of energy wherein we suddenly become more pessimistic and suddenly we go back down and and think that it's really impossible to to make this all happen so <clears throat> uh, one aspect this can also be a situation wherein there could be an overwhelming situation about a particular person in your past or this could be about um this could be a very psychological effect in terms of your emotional life and uh, this could be some form of period of misunderstanding as well or a period wherein maybe you wanted to you are now it, it gives me that feeling we're in okay you are con you have been confused in terms of your love life and you're wanting to finally you know you already have this clarity and awareness of what you want you are now becoming more open to things right now which is a really really good sign but it gives me that energy we're in okay you know what you want and that is your part of the story it doesn't mean that that is what they want it doesn't mean that they are going to be open to that it just means that that is what you want and many times it doesn't mean that when you are ready it means that they are ready all at the same time so over here we are seeing that you know we are seeing that union factor of coming together but at the same time it is in between of the towards these two difficult cards which is the seven of cups and the five of cups this is about a situation or maybe a particular person or um situation we're in you know there is a lot of confusion and maybe maybe someone is being very negative very pessimistic they're not really willing to to open up um just yet because maybe they're busy with mourning you know and maybe things are not working out very well for them and they are still holding on to some form of resentment and bitter form of energy you know they they might be still negative towards a situation even though you are already ready so um this can also be a situation which can give you some form of emotional loneliness you know and even though that you are wanting to be positive, that you're wanting for things to get better and you are now more certain and aware of what you really want in your life, um, this is going to be a period of time wherein somehow one way or another, some form of reality strikes at you and you come across to the, to the situation wherein 
this is what I want, but this is what reality is giving me. So there is a period wherein, you know, there is an energy of feeling helpless, you know, I, I want to fix the situation, but I can't fix it. Or uh, th I hope there is something that I can do, but I don't know what action should I take because I mean, when it comes to love life and relationships, it takes two to tango, right? It takes two to make it all work out. So um, it's quite of a difficult uh, situation or feeling to really digest because <laughs> um, it requires you to be, to be patient in waiting for someone to see things your way at the same time so um however i i just kind of feel that you know uh, there could be some form of healing with this energy and it could be that you might be finding your way to talk to someone to discuss and make confrontation about things that were hazy things that that got confusing in the relationship so that you guys can give yourself a chance with that. Of course, that's not going to happen to each and every Libras out there. More than anything, I just kind of feel that for many, for many of you, this is going to be a period we're in. Um, it's very emotional, you know, and it's emotional in a way we're in. I kind of feel that there are just things that you are unable to express right now because you feel that expressing them is you know expressing them does not solve anything for for some of you you might have this conclusion all at the same time like you know unless the other person is really willing and going to be more open towards you i just kind of feel that you know uh there is just so much you can do uh with this form of energy but the most important thing here is that you come to a conclusion that you know um this is what i want you know i know things are not gonna be easy but i personally think that by me being more certain with what i want and what i feel i have already taken the first step into the possibility of the future you know it has that form of energy over here we have here the sudden changes car the harmonious situation and not ready to talk so we are going to be feeling the shift of energy, but at the same time, it's not as if we are actually solving and resolving um, things, you know. So I kind of feel that this is more of a situation wherein the effects of the month of April, especially in terms of your emotional life and love life, is happening in a very spiritual plane, you know, in the astral plane, in a, a psychic level, especially if you are in a love um in a soulmate or twin flame relationship this is very very true this can also be a situation wherein you thought that you don't want this person anymore you thought that you are fine and ready to move on with life and wanting to move forward into the future and you come to a point wherein uh makes you feel that i think i just want to to rekindle something you know i want to fix this relationship which i had in the past and you are contemplating whether what to do about that i mean who knows what really is going on for you but i would say that there is some form of complications when it comes to your emotions and realizations in terms of your love life as a whole with our twin flame messages we have here can you still forgive me i know it was my fault and i'm lost i don't know what to do and what i really like about this twin flame love notes is that it always correlates to what is really happening what is the message of this spread so as we as i already mentioned earlier we're seeing here that there's so much emotions going on here you know at one point you're lost and then suddenly you understand things you become more clear with what you want but at the same time you're not really exactly you know it doesn't really give us an energy we're in okay 
uh, you know, I'm not really at the point where I'm going to tell you that things are finally shifting forward and you are going to receive some form of confirmation messages when clearly we know that, yes, you are understanding things. You want to fix a relationship. Maybe you want to reconcile with someone, but at the same time, you're not really seeing that progressive moment just yet. Um, this could be the situation we're in. Maybe there are still a lot of fears into the relationship. Maybe that person is still fearing. Um, they have a lot of fears of whether you are going to forgive them or not. Maybe there's a lot of emotional trauma um, into that relationship. And, you know, there is a period here wherein, you know, someone already is admitting that they are at fault. Uh, but at the same time, they don't know how to reach out to you. Maybe, you know, this is especially true if you had a lot of fighting, you know, some form of harsh words has been expressed towards one another. It's like, you know what it is that you want to do. You want to say sorry, you want to make it up with that person. Oh, by the way, we have that card of here let me make things up for you so you have that desire to actually fix the relationship and try to to be with that person once again but at the same time you don't know it's like it's like you're being something within your heart and soul wants this to happen but at the same time you're not actually you know dialing up the phone and calling them or you're not actually doing something to connect with that person but the desire is there and it's creeping up on you basically so um last but not least we have here the keeper card we have the imprisonment the lovers and the poverty and this is really a big confirmation of what we are seeing here and you know the imprisonment um this is more of a situation wherein you're feeling stuck you're feeling you're feeling a lot down what are you down about this is about a relationship a lover situation and we have here the poverty this clearly tells us that you know there there could be something unsatisfying making you feel stuck about the situ certain situation it's like that moment of your life where i wanted to be in love i wanted to be happy i wanted to be um i want to have some form of harmonious connection with my lover or with this person but at the same time i, I just don't know how i am going to do this or you know um like i said earlier there's a form of helplessness into the situation and i kind of feel that you know for many of you you are going to give in to doing a lot of prayers so uh, you know asking for a miracle to occur and uh, for a lot of you there's going to be an issue about faith you know hoping that things shift into a better state of mind hoping that things actually get better gradually all of those kinds of things and this can also be a period of time wherein you know you are coming from a state of mind wherein you are not seeing the possibility about the relationship and the possibility to reconcile with that person and you are going to maybe and the month we're in, you are going to try or you, or you are open to try to make it work. But you also know that it's not going to be easy. So it has that form of energy. Um, this is not a negative reading. So I don't know if you guys are going to see it that way. I personally see it as a positive reading. We're in you are at that point of your life wherein you have closed your eyes into something you have even closed your heart you know there is a lot of uh situation wherein you're trying to you're trying to be stubborn and not accept the truth not accept what you truly feel and you are now going to be entering that point and period of your life wherein it's not gonna be easy you don't know if you can actually make it happen but this time you know that you are going to open your eyes and your heart is going to be much more open whether you become successful with that or not is a different story but uh, this is really more of a situation we're in okay i know what i want and i will let my heart 
guide me to this and I don't want to I don't want to hesitate anymore and I don't want to fool myself anymore and and telling myself that I don't want this person that I don't want to love them anymore or I don't love them anymore when in fact and in reality I still do and I still want to be with them so this is about you being more honest with what you truly feel about a certain person in your life you may not entirely be able to fix the relationship here and now within the month but you are making a big step forward in just accepting what needs to be accepted because this makes you um prepares you to be ready in to in taking action or initiating something or at the very least you know energetically wise you are becoming more open to the idea with this person entering your life once again that kind of energy so um this is what we are seeing for a lot of libra people out there so um if you do want a personal reading specifically to answer your own situation um you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com the links will be down below the description of this video i do um email readings and um chat readings if that's your thing you can always check my website for that and um i also have a, a facebook group wherein i do post my updates readings astrology studies and researches <laughs> and if you have any question i do um answer there so all of the links um where you can access that will be down below the description of this video and um yeah that's it i'll see you guys again next month goodbye